Before we jump to vector, we need to know what is physical quantity. A physical quantity can be categorized as either a scalar or vector quantity. But what is physical quantity? A physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured such as height and mass. Can you name other examples of physical quantities? Scalar is a physical quantity described by a magnitude and a unit. For example, 20 meter, 2 second or 330 Kelvin. Vector is a quantity which is described by a magnitude, a unit, and a specific direction. For example, 80 km per hour towards north or 200 Newton towards the earth. Now, let's try to identify the scalar and the vector quantity in the statement. A gravitational force on a free falling of 0 0.3 kilogram mango is 3 newton. So, we can see that there are two physical quantities in this statement, which is 0 0.3 kilogram and 3 newton. The scalar quantity is the mass of 0 0.3 kilogram and the vector quantity of the force is 3 newton towards the earth. In a visual vector analysis, a vector is represented with an arrow. The length and orientation of the arrow contains information about the magnitude and direction of the vector. Now, let's study the vector illustrated here to understand the basic properties of vector. The first property of vector is A equal to B. Two vectors are the same if they are of the same length and direction. Next, A equal to negative C or negative A equal to C. A has the same magnitude but in opposite direction with C. Next, 2A equal to D or A equal to half D. D has double magnitude of A and at the same direction. Now let's try an example here. P is a displacement vector representing the movement of a ship from its origin to its final position within a certain period of time. The displacement is 1 km 20 degree north of west. Can you try to draw the vector P? This is how we draw the vector representing the movement of the ship from the origin to P at location or direction of 20 degree northwest. Now, based on properties of vector that we had learned just now, can you draw using the scale Q equal to negative P and draw R equal to 1.5 P? All right, I give you some clues. Q has the same magnitude but opposite direction compared to P and R has 1.5 times longer magnitude and same direction as compared to P. Next, components of vector. A vector can be resolved into its perpendicular components along horizontal and vertical axis. In xy plane, these are recognized as x and y components. For example, the component of vector r which directed along x and y axis, namely rx and ry respectively. r is also known as resultant vector due to component x and component y. 
component Rx equal to R cos theta, whereas component Ry equal to R sin theta.